Lovely to see. It's 12 minutes to seven. Thousands of pupils in England and Wales returned to the classroom yesterday for the first time since lockdown began in March. So what does it look like? What's it like to be in the classroom now? Geeta Pensy has spent the day in one secondary school in Shropshire. Good morning. How are you doing? It's their first day back, but for these year sevens, it's also their first day at secondary school. And with so many safety changes too, there are mixed feelings. Morning, you are right, girls? It was a bit of a stretch waking up early at, um, to go to school. I've been feeling excited to come back to school because we've been off for so long. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm, I'm, I'm not as nervous because I'm doing it with everyone else. It's been six weeks and I'm actually really nervous. Are you? And why are you nervous? Because there's lots of new people and I'm in a new area. You're going to have a proper tour, not a virtual tour, a proper tour of the school. Year 7 are the first to return to St John Talbot's with the full school back by Friday. Arrivals are staggered with form groups led in one at a time. All the form groups are now in their classrooms. They've all hand sanitised on the way in and they're being shown a video which they wouldn't normally do, which is all about the health and safety measures, you know, where they can go, the one-way system. And they've also got a planner, which again, they would normally get, but this time it includes lots of information on health and safety. So there is a lot to take in. A tape marks where the teacher can stand to observe social distancing, with each year forming a bubble and moving from one class to the next at the same time. The school advice here is to wear masks in corridors and communal spaces indoors, and most seem to be. With so much to take in, the first break time is a chance to relax. It's actually going really well. The teacher's really, really friendly and... I'm with most of my friends, so it's really comfortable and I've settled in really well. Actually, I'm feeling pretty happy. Uh, I'm glad to be back, to be honest with you. It's quite isolating to be at home and the teaching online is really not the same as having the children. A recent survey suggests children in England are three months behind in their studies, so catching up is key. It's something the new head here is aware of. Over time in this term, we're confident that what will go on in the classroom will help to identify where there, there may be students who've fallen behind and then where we need to, we will put the plans in place either through the classroom or beyond the classroom where needed. You've been in this profession for 20 years, it's actually your first year as head of school. What kind of challenges are you facing? The scale of what we've been through as a profession is, is significant. Um, we, we are conscious that there is now potentially going to be further transmission as a consequence of schools reopening and we play our part in society within that. The lunch menu is similar to before but students aren't allowed to stay in the canteen but the damp weather doesn't seem to be putting them off. Back in class and the last subject is maths. So is it 10 out of 10 for school? It's been really fun, like, meeting new teachers and, every, and everyone and making new friends. I'm excited to go back home and then I'm actually really sad because I've really enjoyed it today. What's changed is I've actually got to know people very, very well and I feel so much better. I'm no nerves. They've all gone. Get right first row, please. That's the first day done, just the rest of the year to go now. Gita Pensei, BBC News, Whitchurch. Well done to all of them and uh, to you if you're going off to school and starting. But I, I wonder whether actually starting at a big school in year seven at a time like this, I mean, nobody would want a time like this, but whether actually it makes things a little bit easier to deal with in some ways. Is you, you haven't got the crowded dining hall, you haven't got assembly, you haven't got all those massive kids. And big, it's the big kids. Yeah. They're still big to me. But the <laughs> big, the... <laughs> Everyone's big to you. <laughs> Thanks. But the, it's the big kids. It's just seeing them just yeah. thinking, what are they going to do? And they're not going to do anything. But you're you just know, in they're... your little bubble of your yeah. year group. Yeah. So if it works like it calm. did for those guys, uh, it, uh, it does work. Good stuff. 6.53.